and welcome to another history special. And today I'm in London. I'm going to take a look at the outside of the Church of St. Magnus the Martyr. Now as I go through the gates on the left hand side, there's a little plaque which states that this churchyard formed part of the roadway approach to Old London Bridge from 1176 to 1831. And this, uh, this, is, this is the old roadway. If I'd kept on going through the buildings in front of me and across to the Thames, it would have led me across London Bridge down to the parish of Southwark on the other end, on the other side. Uh, the church is called Magnus the Martyr after the, um, the Earl of Orkney who uh, was martyred or executed uh, on the 16th of April 1116. And inside there's a little statue of him as well. But just on the left here, as I, uh, as I walk back and retrace my steps, there's a little piece of the old Roman jetty from the original London Bridge, which was found some years ago. This dates from AD 75, and it's really rather exciting to actually put my hand and touch a piece of Roman wood from London Bridge. There we go, right on the side there, piece of London Bridge and just up the back are some stonework from a previous London Bridge that's been found so the church has connections to London Bridge in more ways than one not only with the thoroughfare but for two fragments of the of original or former bridges I should say but now let's go inside and and take a look at the interior of this church Out of respect for the church I didn't uh, didn't talk to the camera in there but it was really interesting to see that uh, that old fire engine in there uh, a bit different to uh, modern fire engines and it wouldn't have been very effective either I'm pretty sure well certainly not against the uh, the Great Fire of London but the church was actually burnt down during the Great Fire of London of 1666 that was rebuilt in 1676 the architect being Sir Christopher Wren. And Wren also designed uh, the monument, which stands just a few hundred yards, well, hundred or so yards away from the church, which commemorates that great fire. And he also designed St Paul's Cathedral, along with several other sta uh, churches in, uh, in London as well, most of which have, uh, have survived. And this church has survived as well. It survived the Second World War. It's got some damage on the outside from the um, from the bombings but it did largely survive and uh, it's nice to, to know that some of Sir Christopher Wren's work has survived through all the turbulent um, turbulence of history but I did like the uh, model there of London Bridge the model was depicts how London Bridge would have looked back in the round 600 odd years ago because back then bridges were whole communities. People lived and worked on the bridges. There were businesses and also uh, chapels and churches as well. Uh, quite unlike the, uh, the Roman bridge, which would have been a single footbridge uh, across the river. And vastly different to today's um, modern bridges across the Thames. The only uh, bridge that comes close to uh, anything medieval uh, that survives today might be the, um, the old bridge in in Florence, uh, still got uh, buildings and things on it, which is rather nice to see. But 
that model really is um, very detailed indeed, an accurate depiction of how London Bridge would have looked all those years ago. And this is where I end this Hiddle History special. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you next time.